Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number one of the UBL. We've been here in season one and we are now in season three and we are up against the choice specs. I believe we've only played them once before in the PGLNU Cup and uh, that match did definitely not go well. But here now we're here with very different teams. This is my first time using a mega camera up. Uh, I do have some favorites of mine, uh, Necrozma, Neuvern, I even have the knee Lego, which I've which I've used once before and really loved it. The Reggie Steel, I absolutely adore Reggie Steel and Raikou, which is absolutely new for me. Um, he's coming out with the Galvantula, the Bulu, the Mega Mawile. So truly battles of very different megas. He paid points for his mega, and I got back 80 points for my mega. It does have the Dragonite, which uh, I'll never forget. Did six on me once. Um. An Espeon and a Milotic. Now, the Milotic is going to be probably the thing that I struggle with the most, but uh, as long as I can t keep the Raikou uh, around, I think I'll be okay with it. But it threatens my Mega Camera up the most. Now, Mega Camera up is max defensive for the Mega Mawile. Uh, he didn't really have any true, true, like, special threats that I had to worry myself about, so I was free to put max defense, I believe, on my Necrozma, my. Mega Camera Upt and my Registeel as kind of uh, checks and backup checks and emergency checks to the Mega Mawile. Um, my Neuvern does have Defog on it. It is my only Defog. I didn't feel like um, Serena had the best matchup here. So I thought that uh, having my Neuvern around would give me an, an offensive presence. It does have the choice packs. And if I really have to, I can get a Defog off at some point. Um, now, also, my... Raikou also has choice specs because his draft doesn't have a ground type, so I'm very, very free to get off specs Volt Switch um, as much as I want in this matchup here. And uh, I believe my Nihilego is also choice scarfed. So, three choice items, but it feels like it fits in this matchup here. Uh, I have a few mods that don't really need to switch up moves because my new Lego can pretty much just click uh, Power Gem in most situations. I do also have the Thunderbolt, um, and I believe it's just Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rocks from there. And my Reggie Steel also uh, uh, has Rocks, clearly. Um, but really, just if I really need to set up Rocks in an emergency, uh, that'll be there. Uh, and Toxic Spikes could be useful, but obviously that Espeon has to go down first. But I'm just going to get right into this matchup. So, there are a few different things that I really have to think about here. Like I said, I have to manage that Espeon and try to not get bounced back here. But he does lead off with the Galvantula, and I don't remember what I lead off with, like, even a little bit. Oh, no, I just lead off with the Raikou. You know, um, Raikou being able to very freely Volt Switch is going to be... Um, Definitely my preferred uh, answer here, and I know he's going to want to get an early webs play right now, but I just try to see how much damage I'm going to do with a Volt Switch, and it, that pretty much confirms no Bulk Gavantula, and um, I do a lot on a resisted hit because of those specs. He does get up the Stealth Rocks. Now, I thought that this was going to be a good moment for my Lego to get in before the webs go up, and just to... And try and get some dam get some early damage off. He does switch out into the Espeon, which uh, probably packs the Psy Shock. Psy Shock would destroy me, but uh, he has to switch into a Power Gem, which is a max special attack, uh, modest Nihilego. And he can't take two. He I guess was feeling out the Scarf. He didn't know that I was Scarfed until just now, but now I've clearly revealed it. He knows for sure that I'm Scarfed. But, uh... That information came at the expense of my, of uh, his Espeon, so that's a trade that I, in most situations, I'm, I'm going to take. Um, so now my Nihilego is is a lot freer in in the later game, but he goes into his Bulu, and I decide to try to go into Registeel. Now that still does a very decent amount of damage for being a Registeel and for being uh, max defensive, but. Here we see that he is life orbed and boosted by the Grancy Terrain as well. But I'm also going to get recovery from leftovers as well as Grancy Terrain in this situation. So it does even itself out a little bit. Um, and he does go into this Dragonite. Now, I didn't expect him to stay in, but I didn't think that he would want to go into the Mega Mawile. So I figured um, Toxic in this situation would be free against something on his team. 
no matter what it was. And this is a remarkably standard Reggie Seal set. This is a much more standard than I'm used to, but this is just uh, Toxic Stealth Rock, Seismic Toss, and I don't even remember the four. Uh, oh, I think it's Iron Head. Just hit something that um, was weak to steel and that probably did more than, than Seismic Toss. But, um, this is basically going to be Registeel doing, you know, what Registeel does. I'm going to try and wear this thing down with Toxic. Uh, getting this thing Toxic on the Switch in was so huge, because now that leaves me free to um, Seismic Toss, wear this thing down uh, as it tries to Dragon Dance up. And uh, we were both scratching our heads during this match as to why Earthquake did so little, because that was a plus one earthquake and i know i'm a registrar and i know that i am very very defensive but uh i felt like it should be doing more damage and we both completely forgot about grassy terrain that is definitely just weak one jitters and uh, and uh not really you know uh thinking through the that interaction of the bulu plus the plus the uh dragonite I I interaction but that made my registeel play look made me look even smarter because uh that was not only did my Reggie still get leftovers plus grassy terrain but it was protected from uh its biggest weakness arguably and uh that interaction allowed me to set up rocks for absolutely free so now i do and i uh, have rocks on the field that the, the advanced that comes in i know it's probably going to try to do massive damage to me right now but now my own right can come in and eat a resisted thunder and at this point my thinking is like look no matter what uh i'm gonna be able to take a hit get some big damage off and at least take out this guy angel and if he tries to switch out then i can always volt switch but volt switch is going to be my, is always going to be my play now bug buzz did a lot more damage than i would have expected here bug buzz i think did super respectful damage but uh, like I said, I'm still able to get a Volt Switch off, and uh, that is going to set me up a little bit. So, now, I don't even remember what I'm going to Oh, I got into Necrozma. Yeah, yeah, Necrozma is going to be the Mon that sets me up best against what... It, well, it, it's the Mon that doesn't allow in something else to come in that I don't want to get put in... Where I don't want to get put into a really bad matchup. So, he does bring in the Tapu Bulu. Now, again, this Bulu is Life Orbed, strong as heck. And in grassy terrains, so I was running. I was furiously running Calx, but um, like I said, I am pretty much a max defense Necrozma, and I am reasonably confident that I can take anything. And Photon Geyser should be doing half to this Bulu, like no matter what. So we take a darn Life Orb Wood Hammer because we are so defensive. We take a Life Orb Wood Hammer in grassy terrain, and uh, we fire back a Photon Geyser. This. Uh, all this Necrozma has is a uh, Photon Geyser, Earth Power, Moonlight, and um, and Calm Mind. And I was going to try to play some games where I try to uh, Moonlight up on his uh, Horn Leeches or his Grass Moves and get him to take himself out to Recoil or um, try to calm, try to pick up a Calm Mind so that I can take on the rest of his team. But I didn't feel like it was ultimately going to be worth it. Now, this was ultimately a sack, I think. Um, I really didn't, like, I, I expected this thing to, flee, to be Flame Orb, so I didn't really think that I was going to be able to get a, get a Toxic off or anything. Um, I think I just brought this in as kind of a pivot play, and because I figured I could at least, like, pressure him a little bit into taking me out with, with, with Seismic Toss, so he doesn't, like, get to freely set up, but, uh, or, or do anything too, too crazy, but he's gonna have to Scald into me, and he's gonna have to re recover up, and... Basically, what I wanted from this was a predictable in 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 interaction that ultimately allows me to get something else in. But now, I'm thinking, well, I really need a defog here in order for me to really, you know, do something that, 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 that I don't want to do. And he's just scalding into my in, in, into my Registeel, so I figured, okay, I know that I was going to sack the Registeel, but I think I'm, rel I'm reasonably free to bring in my, my Noivern and just get a defog off. Again, I, I will be choosing a defog, so uh, it probably was not the best bring this week, but... The main thing is, I I can defog, I can get Ice Beamed, it's fine, but it's going to allow in something else, like my Raikou, and my Raikou can get some huge, huge Specs damage off, or I could figure something else out, but my main thing is, 
uh, getting this defog off is more important than anything else, and, um, and, uh, I got to keep my register, I guess, as a complete sack, but, um, I really, uh, should have thought that through better, but regardless, um, now that I saw that he was going to ice beam me, or, or, or that he was going to, to to recover, I figured that uh, I knew he was going to ice beam into me, so that would leave me free to go into Nihilego and get a free Thunderbolt off. Now, I needed a little bit of more damage in order to ensure the, uh, a, a Raikou KO with Thunderbolt. So, uh, I was, like I said, I was free to, th to Thunderbolt into this thing. He, he's, not, he's really not in a position where he can recover. Saw me. So he has to uh, scald and take me out. Now, two Thunderbolts would have been a roll from what I could tell, but uh, I just barely miss out on the roll. And uh, the burn, his burn is ultimately going to take him out because he had to scald. I guess he was not in a position where he could r recover on me. And uh, I get taken out to a scald burn which ultimately is fine it's not gonna be the end of the world but uh it was kind of fortunate because i did feel like many lego put on the pressure that i needed i was, I was just gonna lose them on anyway so if it, was, if it was gonna be at any point in this matchup i'm glad it was there but this this double down allows me to very freely bring in our my mega camera and it's going to be a battle of the megas for these final few turns mega camera against his mega mawile and uh i have the advantage in most ways here I am also max defense, so I am super curious as to how well I will take these hits. I do resist both of his stabs, and uh, I can fire off big, big damage on the special side. But he does go for the Iron Head, and Iron Head does a pretty scary amount of damage. Like, that is a scary amount of damage, and he starts to get flinches on me. It looks like roughly a 3 KO to me, to my eye, and uh, if he gets a couple flinches, he can kind of beat the rest of my team, I think. But, uh, thankfully, on the second one, I am able to flamethrower. That's a sheer force flamethrower from a Mega Camera. We do get the one hit KO, and uh, that's going to be week one. We do get a 5-0 for the first week, and I'm really excited for the season ahead. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with uh, more weeks of the UBL. Uh, I believe the APA playoffs is going to be happening uh, this weekend. The MPL playoffs, I believe, as well. And uh, some other stuff. We have League War coming up, the PGBL coming up, um, and a bunch of other things in the future. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Going to be once again. Out.